Hello children. Today in this video we are going to discuss chapter 7. Chapter 7 is ratio and proportion. So before starting this chapter first of all some introduction. So in introduction first of all what is ratio? Children what is ratio? A ratio is a relationship between the two things of the same kind and it can be expressed as A is to B or we can also uh, say it A ratio B. A ratio B or A is to B. In this children a which is the first term it is always known as antecedent a is known as the antecedent and b is known as consequent it is known as the consequent second thing children ratio is always expressed in the simplest form or the lowest form let us take an example for this let it be it is given to you 36 by 24 or let it be it is given to you 36 ratio 24. So how you can convert this into the lowest form? It will be 36 by 24. Both are coming in the table of 12. So we can cut them. 36, 3, 12, 3 is a 36 and 12, 2 is a 24. So our lowest ratio is 3 ratio 2. So we will write it as 3 ratio 2. Second thing children, whenever you are writing or solving any ratio, always see that their unit should be same. Unit means if one thing is given to you in kg, other also should be in kg. If it is given to you in grams, convert it in kgs. So that will be the better to solve the ratio. Now children, come to the first exercise which is 7.1. So exercise 7.1, first question is express the following ratios in the simplest form. First is given to you 45 ratio 150. So 45 by 150 I have written. Both are coming in the table of 5. So 5 9 is a 45 and 5 30 is a 150. Again 9 and 30 they are coming in the table of 3. So 3 3 is a 9 and 3 10 is a. 3 and 10 are not coming in one table. So our answer will be 3 ratio 10. Second part 3.5 ratio 6.5. First of all I will remove their decimals. Decimals means if I will remove the decimal of this. 10 will come here. If I will remove the decimal of this, 10 will come up in the numerator. So 10 and 10 can be cancelled and 35 and 65 are coming in the table of 5. 7 by 13. So our answer will be 7 ratio 13. Next is 2 meter and 350 centimeter. Again children, if you will see their units are not same. This is in meter and this is in centimeter. So convert the bigger unit into the smaller one. So we will convert meter into centimeter. We will multiply 2 by 100. 2 into 100 centimeter ratio 350 centimeter. Now 200 by 350. 0 can be cancelled and they both are coming in the table of 5 which is 4 ratio 7 will come. Next is fourth part. 2 hours and 55 minutes. Again, bigger is hours, so convert hours into minutes. Multiply 2 by 60. It is 2 into 60 by 55. So 60 and 55 are coming in the table of 5. Cancel them, you will get 12 by 11. So 12 into 2, 24 ratio, 11 will be your answer. Sixth part children, you can do by yourself. And fourth part is also easy. Both are in kilometer, that also you can do by yourself. Now children, seventh part of this. It is 0 0.5 kilometer ratio 200 meter. Convert this kilometer into meter. I have removed the decimal. I have written 10 in the denominator and multiply it with 1000 to convert it into meters. So what I will get? I will get 500 meter ratio 200 meter. When you will write them, zeros will be cancelled. You will get 5 ratio 2. So this will be your answer. Question number 2 children. Out of 24 students in a class, 7 like tea, 13 like coffee and the remaining like milk. Find the ratio of. Before uh, doing the next part, we will first of all write total students are given to you how many? 24. How many like tea children? 7. How many like coffee? 13. And how many like milk? It is 24. Out of 24, I will subtract tea and coffee students. So 24 minus 7 plus 13. So what I will get? 24 minus 20 which is equals to how much? 
4. So how many like milk? It is 4. And our first part is of this question. The number of students who like milk to the number of students who like coffee. So how many children like milk? 4. And how many students like coffee? 13. So what will be, will be our answer? 4 ratio 13. Second part children. The number of students who like tea to the number of students who like coffee. So how many students like tea? 7. And how many students like coffee? 13. It is 7 ratio 13. Third part. The number of students who like tea to the number of total students. So number of students who like tea? It is 7. And total number of students are 24. So already they are in lowest form. So we will write them as it is which is 7 ratio 24. Next children. Question number third, the cost of one dozen gel pens is rupees 144 and the cost of nine ball pens is rupees 81. Find the ratio of. So before finding out the ratio, first of all we will calculate the cost of one gel pen and one ball pen. How to calculate? Cost of one dozen. Now children, in one dozen how many things are there? 12. So cost of one dozen means equal to 12 gel pens. Cost of 12 gel pens is equal to 144 and cost of 1 gel pen 144 divided by 12. Both are coming in the table of 12. 12 ones are 12. 12 twelves are 144. Cost of 9 ball pens they have given you rupees 81. So cost of 1 ball pen 81 divided by 9 which is equals to rupees 9. Now first part is we have to find the ratio of cost of a gel pen means one gel pen to the cost of a ball pen again one ball pen. So cost of one gel pen upon cost of one ball pen. Cost of one gel pen is 12 and cost of one ball pen is 9. So 12 by 9 both are coming in the table of 3. 3 4 is a 12, 3 3 is a 9. So lowest fraction is 4 ratio 3. Second part of the same question children. The cost of 5 gel pens to the cost of 4 ball pens we have to calculate. So cost of 1 gel pen as we have calculated in the previous part it is rupees 12. So cost of 5 gel pens is equals to 5 into 12 which is equals to 60. Cost of 1 ball pen rupees 9 you have calculated and cost of 4 ball pens 4 into 9 rupees 36. So now ratio you have to calculate. So cost of 5 gel pens upon cost of 4 ball pens. 5 gel pens 60, 4 ball pens 36. Both are coming in the table of 6. 6 tens are 60 and 6 6. Again both are coming in the table of 2. So 2 5s and 2 3s. So lowest fraction is 5 ratio 3. Next children, fourth question is the angles of a triangle are in the ratio 3 ratio 7 ratio 8. Find the measure of each angle. Whenever children anything is given to you in ratio write some constant with that. I am writing x as a constant. Now children let the first angle is equal to 3x. Second angle 7x. Third angle 8x. According to the angle sum property of a triangle sum of all the three angles of a triangle is 180. So 3x plus 7x plus 8x is equals to 180. When you will add them you will get 18x is equals to 180 and x is equals to 180 by 18 you will get the answer 10. Now put this value of x over here. So you will get first angle 3 into 10 30 degree. Second angle 7 into 10 70 degree and third angle 8 into 10 80 degree. Now children fifth question. Divide rupees 480 between A and B in the ratio 1, 1 by 2 is, is to 1, 2 by 4. So these are given to you in the mixed fraction. First of all convert them into improper fraction. So let A is equals to 1, 1 by 2x. It will be 3 by 2x and the value of B it will be 1, 2 by 4x which is 6 by 4. So according to the question when you will add them you will get 480. So addition you know because we have done fraction chapter. Take the LCM you will get 6x plus 6x is equals to 480. 12x by 4 480 value of x. Shift 4 this side and 12 also. 12 ones are 12. 12 40 is a 480. So you will get 160. 
put the values in terms of x value of a is equals to 3 by 2 into 160 which is 240 and b is equal to 6 by 4 into 160 again 240 so value of a and b you have got which is 240 now children six question easily you can do it is similar to this one only seventh question the total number of students in a school is 3 130 the ratio of the girls to boys is 2 ratio 3 find the ratio before starting this first of all write total number of students is 130 number of girls 2 is given to you 2 ratio 3 so it will be 2x number of boys 3x now 2x plus 3x is equals to 130 so 5x is equals to 130 x is equal to 130 by 5 which is equals to 26 therefore number of girls is equals to 2 into 26 52 and number of boys is equal to 3 into 26 which is equal to 78 now first part is the number of boys to the total number of students so number of boys upon total number of students number of boys is 78 and total number of students is 130 so both are coming in the table of 2 so it is 39 by 65 and then both are coming in the table of 13 13 3 is a 39 13 5 is a 65 so 3 ratio 5 will be our lowest form second part is total number of students to the number of girls so total students upon number of girls total students is 130 upon girls is 52 they are coming in the table of 13 13 tens 130 and 13 fours 52 again they are coming in the table of 2 so 5 ratio 2 will be our final answer last part of this question the number of boys to the number of girls so number of boys is 78 number of girls is 52 when you will cancel them you will get 3 ratio 2 as the answer so children do this exercise in your notebook in the next video we will discuss the next exercise thank you children